Cambridge, 1848. Within the walls of Trinity College, an important meeting is being held. College representatives of Eton, Harrow, Rugby, Winchester and Shrewsbury have come together to define after eight intense and animated hours of discussion the so-called Cambridge Rules, namely the first attempt to set common rules for a sport whose origin dates back to ancient times, a sport called football. China, 3rd century BC. These men are playing Suju. According to FIFA, the very earliest form of the game for which there is scientific evidence. If we shift slightly more west, a few concrete details exist of another game called Episkyros, famous in ancient Greece, as well as the more recent Arpastum, played in Rome, a mix between football, volleyball, and uh, wrestling. Not much different, really, from the primitive forms of football that were played in the following centuries in Europe, and most of all, in Britain. Disorganized, violent, spontaneous, and usually played by an indefinite number of players. Then, in 1848, the first official rules were conceived in Cambridge, and would later inspire the more modern laws of the game in 1863, the year in which the Football Association was founded. Ebenezer Cobb Morley, the FA's first secretary, is considered by many as the father of modern football. Five decades later, in 1904, the FIFA was established in Paris. By now, football had become an international phenomenon, as would be demonstrated by the inauguration of the first worldwide championship played in 1930 in Uruguay. Well, actually, the first of a long list that brings us to today. Who doesn't remember the 1970 World Cup, the last played and naturally won by Pelé? Not to mention the 1986 World Cup and the Hand of God. Or the one in 1954, the first with television coverage. Or better yet, the one in 1994, the first in the USA and the first to be decided by a penalty shootout. And now... Are you ready for this new challenge in Russia 2018? Very well then, enjoy the show and uh, perhaps take a moment to make a toast to those chaps in Cambridge who tried to lay down the rules for this splendid sport.